Okay, let's do our warm-ups and some gentle yoga today. So come into your mountain pose, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, shoulders back and down, and crown toward the ceiling. Just feel the spine stretch apart. Let the belly move as you breathe. Exhale any stress or tension. And keep that inner focus. Spread your toes. Inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, keeping your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale out to the front. And exhale the hands behind you. Clasp the fingers and lift your heart. Stretch into the back bend. And then exhale and pivot over. Hands coming up, head down. And lift your sitting bones. Move your chin around. Let everything release any tension, bringing those hands toward your head. And then bend your knees slightly and slowly work your way back up from the bottom of the spine all the way into a back bend. So lift your heart, but not your chin too much. Keep stretching the back of your neck. Drop your shoulders. Lift your heart. Keep breathing and relax. Spread your toes. Inhale. Coming up and release. Feel the spine a little more activated, and we'll keep doing that. Arms again to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position. Lift your heart, spread your toes, stretch back into the upper body back bend, and then put it on over. Take a moment there, just lifting and breathing, lifting the sitting bones, lifting the hands, dropping the head. And then once more on the inhalations, oh, we work your way up. And again, lifting your heart, stretching your head back, feel that whole body lengthening through the top of your head. Spread your toes and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale your way up, releasing back into mountain pose. Feeling your spine, noticing what's going on, getting ready to stretch the sides. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them, turn, and clasp. Bring the arms back by your ears, shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones down. Keep everything facing forward and lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit more for that extra rib opening stretch as you reach your head and hands away. No leaning forward, just straight to the side. And then inhale to the top, switch your hand around, and again, bring your arms back by your ears. Shoulders down, and lean, no twist over to the opposite side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and lengthen out through your hip. Keep breathing, relaxing deeply. And then again, inhale to the top. Shoulders are still down, arms at shoulder level, and all the way to your sides. Feel those sides a little bit more open, and then open your spine for our twist. So spread your toes, stretch the base of the skull and base of the spine apart. And bring your arms to shoulder level, palms up, hands over your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Arms next to your ears, sitting bones down, crown high, and then twist to one side. Take a breath in, and exhale over in the twist. Weight on both feet as much as you can keep it. And arms next to your ears. Lift your sitting bones, feel the whole body lengthen a little bit more. And then in the twist, inhale your way back up and into that upper body only for your back bend. Remember, gentle with your low back. Always in the twist. Elbows back, chest high, keep breathing. And inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms around, balancing your body as we do. Always in the twist. Sitting bones down, stretch that spine apart. Exhale, and just the other way. Another breath in, and go ahead, exhaling over. Deepen as much as you like. 
See if the weight's still on both feet as evenly as possible. Arms still next to your ears, deepening into that forward pivot. In the twist, inhale your way back up. And again, lift your heart into that upper body back in. Breathing, lifting, and relaxing the shoulders. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms up, extended mountain, bury your shoulders. Pulling down, sitting bones down. Keep breathing, crown high, fingertips reaching up, spread your toes. Feel the weight, should be even into both sides of your feet. And then palms out to shoulder level. Pivot it at your hips, get that halfway pivot and stretch everything straight. And then drop into ragdoll, just and let your body hit. Take a moment there, breathing, lifting your sitting bones, relaxing your shoulders, tuck in your chin with a little stretch on the back of your neck. And again, knees slightly bent as you come back all the way into mountain pose. Exhale any tension. Feel your spine more activated after moving it six directions. And again, spreading your toes, bring your arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades down, sitting bones down, shoulder blades toward your waist, fingertips up and crown hand. Bring into our chair pose squat. So bring your sitting bones back behind you as you bend your knees, not beyond your toes. Just bending as deeply as you want to go, pushing those sitting bones further. That arm still by your ears, spine still straight. Just squat as deeply into that chair pose as you want to go. If your knees are an issue, remember, don't go so deep. Personal practice, do what's right for your body. Feel the weight in your feet, maybe shift it a little bit to the heels. And just allow everything to sink evenly. Stretch out through your spine. Exhale, maybe deepen a little more. Fingertips lead, coming back all the way up. Everything's still straight. Shoulders still towards your waist as you get all the way back up into extended neck. And then turn your hands out. Palms to the shoulder left, stretch it out. And release. Feel your body a little bit more activated after our squat. And let's just separate the spine a little bit more and do our gentle twist side to side. Follow your hands from one side to the other. Keep the crown reaching high. Breathing, exhaling, just sinking deeply into those feet. But make sure your toes are not crunching down, just spreading out. And just feel the spine getting a little bit more lubricated as you move one way and then the other. And then back to the center, shoulders roll back and down, and again into mountain pose. Take a moment there and bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands, inhale, hands toward the ceiling, a little back bend in that upper back once more. Making that spine open, lifting your heart, head reaching away, looking at your thumbs. Remember, don't lift your chin too high, stretch your neck. Exhale, pivot over, hands to your heart. Sitting bones going slightly back, dropping into ragdoll, just hang and breathe. Let that whole lower back get a good stretch. Hands up under your knees on your shins and are halfway up stretched. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, stretching it out. And then exhaling back, dropping into ragdoll. Tuck in your chin just slightly, bend your knees slightly. And again, follow your hands to your heart. And then again, toward the ceiling. And one more back bend, just gently lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your chest, and back into mountain pose. Again, feeling a little bit more circulation through your whole body. Let's do our balance practice. So lift your toes on your favorite balance foot. Always start on the good one. Spread your toes out as you put them back down, but don't grip. That loses the base of your toes. 
and all of your foot area support. So you want the big toe, little toe, base of the toe, and the heel on both sides evenly rounded. That arch stays lifting up and the whole outside of your foot presses down. So you've got a really good support there. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core active. So where is it? Ribs toward your spine and up, keeping that low back supported. Shoulders go back and down and crown toward the ceiling. When you're grounded in that side, bring the other foot up a little or more or all the way up. And remember, don't cross it over. So roll at the top of the thigh to keep that foot separated from the other leg. When you're comfortable and stable, circle your ankle. Make sure it goes both ways. You want to stay flexible so that we don't fall like a little old lady sometimes. And then flex and point or your foot back down. As you get rounded again, you'll have stable two feet are, and we'll do the other side. <clears throat> so again, go through your whole routine, same way we did, getting, make sure, make sure that whole bottom of your foot is all connected and supportive. Get that core supporting your spine, get those shoulders down, crown reaching up, keep breathing, focusing on what you need to focus on getting ready to bring that other leg up. When you're ready, bring it up as far as it wants to go on that side. And again, when you're stable, we'll work those ankles. So make sure that you get it circling both ways, keeping it lubricated and flexible. And again, flexing point before you put it back down to straighten things out, coming back into mountain pose, exhaling any stress, and tension from our balanced position. Go straight ahead, sitting on a stair, core still activated, shoulders right above your hips, above your ankles. Feel your body in mountain pose. This should be your comfortable standing posture. So when you're at the grocery store or the bank or wherever you're standing in line and you need to be just there for a little while, you can stand in mountain pose and feel comfortable for as long as it takes. And again, hands to your heart. Inhale to the ceiling. Swan dive this time. Arms at shoulder level. Pivot at the hips. Come on straight over. And then drop in the rag doll. Hands up under your knees on your shins for our halfway up stretch. Everything straight and long, including the back of your neck. And then exhale your way to the floor for our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, chest relaxing. So remember, knees together if you like the low back stretching more, or apart if you like to breathe more easily. Exhale, just round a little bit further if that's good for you today. And then inhaling, let's go into staff position, sitting up, bringing those legs out in front. So pressing out through your heel, toes pulling back, knees and toes up toward the ceiling. Those sitting rows a little behind you. Remember, you can pad if you need to to get that in a good position for support under your body. And again, shoulders right above your hips, core supporting your spine. We'll warm up our hips a little bit. So bring your foot up to that opposite thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor. Now remember, it may be tight. That's okay. Just let it go where it needs to. It may be up, especially if you've had any injuries or any tightness in that hip. If you need a little bit more release, bring the leg over to the side. It makes it a little easier. But keep the knee and toes up on that front foot. Take a breath. You can add weight of your hand, but don't push. When you push, the muscles release or resist. They don't release. So don't push. Just let a little extra weight help that knee come down if you like it. If you don't, then just go where it goes because personal practice, that's what our yoga is supposed to do for us. So as it gets a little bit easier, just notice, because that's another thing we do in yoga, is pay attention to what's going on internally. And then when you're ready, hands on your foot and knee or arms wrapped around, and just bring the legs side to side, 
getting that outside rotator on your hip lubricated a little bit more. So do, you, do it gently with the leg down and just relax or pull it higher or closer and make it more intense if you want to. But don't overdo it. You never need to overdo things in yoga. It's just what your body is doing today. Each day is different. And then exhale that one back out. And as you do, notice the two sides are now different. That's the other part of yoga is paying attention to what's happening and where things are going on in your body. So of course, we're going to balance things out in our yoga. So bring that other foot up. And again, <clears throat> me coming down as far as it wants. The end toes on this front leg still up. Even if you bring it over to the side for a little bit easier work, it's up to you. And don't forget, you can be padded a little bit in the back to give yourself a little more pelvic tilt as well. You can put your hand there, but don't press. Just add a little weight if you want to. <clears throat> Breathe and relax. Deepen into it only as far as your body naturally wants to go. Gravity does the work. You don't have to. No pushing, no pressure. Exhale, just relaxing. And again, whenever you're ready to do your rotation, bring your arms around your leg or holding your ankle and knee, move it side to side. Just get that lubrication going as much as it wants in that starting position or making it more intense if you are. Always your choice. Prayers in practice. Breathing deep. And on an exhalation, again, just releasing into scat position. Sitting bones behind you, core active, spine straight, stretching up through the crown. Get everything open because we'll do our diving dolphin. Foot to the inner thigh and the other foot coming back next to your hip. So this knee is out to the side, the first knee you bend. So we're going to stretch that spine apart. This hip will come up a little bit and exhale to turn to that leg. Hands on your leg or the floor, your choice. So we're going to pull the ribs in, pull the abdominals in, tuck your chin, exhale, dive under the water, you're the dolphin. Going out. As you turn your face forward, inhale your way up to the sun and the sky. So remember, you're the playful dolphin diving along the beach, breathing out on the way down and in on the way up, just following your breath as fast or slow as this rotation wants to go. And the next time you're at the top, pause and exhale back to the center, releasing back to mountain pose or staff pose. Take a moment to breathe, feeling that circulation from the twist energy. And again, we're going to do the other side. So opposite foot to the inner thigh and the other heel back near your hip, not under it, just near it. And again, that hip will come up, the spine will stretch apart, and we'll exhale to that first knee again. Hands to your foot or, or your leg or the floor, and tuck your chin, diving under, rounding in that forward bend down. And then coming up in a little backward bend as you inhale the chest and heart up along with the face to the sun and the sky. And just that in your own breath, face exhaling down and under, inhaling, coming up, feeling that whole spine working as you go through your dog and down. And again, the next time you're at the top, pause. Exhale to the center and release into staff. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Activate your core and slowly roll to the floor. Take a moment as you get all the way down and bring your arms to T position. Palms up or down. We'll just do one of our little twists. Sitting bones toward your heels, <clears throat> bending your knee. Heels in toward your sitting bones. Bring your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips. And exhale, rolling the knees to one side as you turn your head to the opposite side. And you keep your shoulders down. Turn your head as much as your neck wants to go. 
and let those knees come as far toward the floor as your body would like. Exhale on tension, just deepening into this twist as far as your back and your body wants to go. And then bringing your heels toward your hips, just roll onto your back, knees again above your body. Exhale, knees over your hips as you roll the knees to the opposite side, turning your head the other direction. Once again, shoulders are down for that middle back twist. Head turning for your neck area twist and knees coming as far toward the floor as they go. Lower back twist. Do what's right always for your body. Exhale, lean into it. And of course, on your own, you hold it longer, but you don't have time. So heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, and bring your feet to the floor, sliding them out. Hip with the foot, toes toward each other, hands next to you, palms up. Outside your hips, shoulders down, and legs just separating slightly as you exhale and relax into corpse position for our deep relaxation. Deep breath in, exhale, let everything release. And just allow your body to soften and sink into that earth support as you are ready. Deep breaths, releasing any tightness or tension anywhere in your body. Letting them just relax deep into that earth support. As your body relaxes and grows heavier with each breath, just let go, allowing your thoughts to release your body and your mind. So as other thoughts come to your mind, just let them go as well. There's no need to remember your body, no need to think of the past, no need to anticipate the future, no need to concentrate on any thought, just let it disappear without attention. Let the body sink deep into that earth embrace. Let your mind float freely. Just focus on your breath, <clears throat> drawing attention inward. To the peace deep within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just take a few moments to be peace. Just keep relaxing as long as you have the opportunity to go. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Whenever you're ready, to can draw energy and awareness with the moment and the breath back to your room and your body. As you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you to do. And as you breathe more fully, stretch more completely. And when you're ready for your final yoga of appreciation, sitting by the toward your heels, all your heels up toward your hips, and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug today. Allow your body to know you appreciate it. some yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, Add your feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.